Hi, look at the surface of the water and this glass, not at you. Do you know why it's not straight? And it has this concave meniscus shape instead? To answer this question, let me explain for you how cohesion and adhesion forces affect the surface tension of liquids. Welcome to Schooler, your online school. You may check your understanding by solving the individual questions. And good luck. Cohesion forces are the attraction forces between like particles, such as the particles of the same liquid, while adhesion forces are the attraction forces between unlike particles, such as the particles of the liquid and the walls of the container. And to understand why the surface of the water has this U-shape or concave meniscus, we have to look at the forces acting on these surface particles. For example, this particle is under the effect of cohesion forces since it's surrounded by like particles of the same liquid. While the forces acting on this particle which is in contact with the wall of the container are two types of forces, adhesion forces which is the attraction between the particle and the walls of the container and cohesion forces which attracts the particle to the other particles of the liquid. And because of the adhesion forces, it gets a little bit higher than the other particles. But those particles which are in contact with the walls of the container won't go that high because of the middle particles are pulling them down using cohesion forces. But what if the tube was narrower? Then we will have less particles at the middle and then adhesion forces will overcome cohesion forces and the particles in contact with the walls will go higher. And let me show it to you in an experiment. Here we have this narrow tube of glass that I will dip in colored water. And as you can see, that the level of colored water gets higher in the narrower tube because of adhesion forces. This action is called capillary action, and this is by the way the same action that is done by the plants to get their water from the soil. So from now on, the shape of the surface tension is determined by the cohesion adhesion forces, like these droplets of water on a hydrophobic surface. As you can see, they have a spherical shape because the cohesion forces are much stronger than the adhesion forces. And also, these insects can walk easier on the surface of water because of the cohesion forces is much stronger than the adhesion forces between the surface of the water and their hydrophobic legs. One thing to explain before we end up this video is the difference in the surface tension of water and mercury if you place them both in glass tubes. As you can see, the shape of the surface tension of water it's a concave meniscus, while the shape of the surface tension of mercury, it's a convex meniscus. And this is because the adhesion forces in water are stronger than the cohesion forces, and the particles next to the walls of the container are pulled upwards. While, in the case of mercury, cohesion forces are much stronger than adhesion forces, that's why the particles close to the walls of the container are attracted towards the mercury particles rather than being attracted towards the walls of the container. And now you are ready to solve the end of video questions. If you are not, repeat the video again. Otherwise, solve the questions, put your answer in the comment section. If you have any question that I didn't cover in the video, please share it with me in the comment section. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos. See you in other videos and good luck.